What up, YouTube? Mr. Pew Pew Black Belt, aka Mr. X. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make um, a calls lanyard for whatever your duck calls, your goose call, whatever kind of calls you want to put on a lanyard. Stay tuned. This is going to be a paracord, paracord, paracord tutorial video on how to make what I'm wearing right here. Let's get to it. How long you want it. Make sure you can get it off on and off your head because that's how I'm going to do mine. I'm not going to do a little um, clip or anything. Just gonna do mine like this because uh when i'm all done the the calls will be like you know right here so i like it this way if uh if others if you don't like it this way i can always do a video uh another video i can make another lanyard so not a big deal for me but uh, this is how i'm gonna do my lanyard so i got this measured out it's about 36 inches um if you're curious it's about 36 inches long and then also uh, i got about 20 feet of paracord to start off with the all right and now what we're gonna do is uh I should get this tape measure out of the way what we're gonna do now is we're going to tie a bowline onto the end of this rope because we're gonna attach it we're gonna just loop it in here this is just for um when we're doing the um cobra weave makes it a little easier for you so just so if you don't know what a bowline knot is you're just gonna you're just gonna make a loop you're gonna pinch it with this thumb you're gonna feed it through the loop around around this rope or the this bottom rope you're gonna go back through the loop you're gonna grab it with your finger here just gonna kind of snug it tight and the reason why i use a bowling uh you can use a bowling for all kinds of stuff but it's mainly used for like it's a knot that comes loose no matter how tight you pull it so you could use this for pulling out your car out of the ditch you can tie this bowling knot, you can attach it to your tow hook, but uh, I love this knot for like everything. So, but yeah, let's get started. So, all right, so once you find the center of your rope, you're gonna just bring it in here and you're just gonna, um, you're gonna, you're gonna make, I forgot the knot's called, but it's basically the same thing as what you do for tying your shoe. You're just gonna overlap it and you're gonna feed one end underneath it. Make sure y'all can see that. Yeah, basically we're just making that knot like you do for tying your shoe. And then we're gonna snug it up tight um, to the end of this bowling. All right. All right. So now I don't know if you've watched my other video, um, how to uh, wrap your paracord, wrap your lever gun. But uh, we're going to be doing what's called uh, a cobra weave. Uh, it's very simple. Um, so one, I'll just start with the rope on the right. You're going to be, you're going to go. It doesn't matter which side you start on first, uh, as long as you flip flop as you're doing it. So the the rope on the right, I'm going to start under underneath. The rope on top is going to go through the loop. So you want to keep track of it, but you're going to go through the loop. Now I was just pinch it together right here, like this, to keep track of them since the rope's so long. And now I'm just going to feed that through that loop okay so now now you got to take the rope that's underneath and pull it through this loop okay then we can put it back on on our nail and then uh we're just going to pull the loop up okay so now this is what it's going to look like so now you got this loop right here on this side now you gotta do the exact same thing on the other side create this loop and then you're gonna go back and forth crisscross so we're underneath on this one so now it's gonna be opposite so now your left one's gonna go underneath the right one is going to go through the loop. And try, there you go. Grab it like this. Get my fingers pinched here. And we're going to pull the slack through. And now we're going to take the underneath rope, pull it through this loop, put it on our nail. Gonna, oh, put it on our nail. Again, over the top. Underneath through the loop. Pull the slack. I don't want to make it too tight. And uh, so the reason why you want to leave a little slack is because you'll find out later when we pull the other ropes through to uh, for your um, calls, you're gonna want to leave just, you don't want to do it super tight. So we're just gonna do it a little snug and we're gonna keep going. 
So now we're going to go on the other side, go through, pinch it through the loop. I mean, go through the loop. Pull it snug. But don't pull it too tight. Do one more. I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'm just going to go ahead and just fast forward so that way the video doesn't take too terribly long. All right, there's the start of the Cobra Weave. It's a super basic uh, uh, knot or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're starting right now. And then now I'm just going to pause the video. I'm going to finish this whole thing, and then I'll show you how to do the square knot. Gonna untie the bowline. Comes undone really easy. Okay, and then um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tie that square knot like I was talking to all. Okay, so the main thing with the square knot, so you can see it really nice. So you're just gonna do like a, you can do it like you're tying your shoe. Oops, sorry. You can do it like you're tying your shoe. And the main thing is when you're doing the square knot, you have to go through the same way that it's wrapped on here, just like this. So this one's gotta go through like this, and this one's gotta go underneath. See how the loop is there? How it's like squeezing together, kinda like a square. It's kinda like looped under and looped over. And you just kinda pull it tight. All right, now we'll do the other side here. Do the exact same thing. You're just gonna have it kind of about the measure of your fingernail. Cut off the extra. I've always been a big fan of just using body parts or whatever you can to uh, do your measurements because uh, makes it easier. You don't have to always pull the tape measure out. Just use your use what's on your body. But yeah, you can put a little oil if you don't like it sticking to your uh, knife, which isn't a, it's not a big deal, but you can just throw a little oil on it if you don't want it to stick to your, but it, it all peels off just fine. But just so you know, if you want to put a little oil on here, you can. Otherwise, it's not a big deal at all. So. That's what it'll look like. Your finished ends. So... All right, so next, what I'm gonna show you is how to splice the rope together um, if you accidentally, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, your end where it comes out of the uh, cobra weave, you're gonna take your new little chunk of rope, you're just gonna put them together like this, we're gonna melt them, and then we're just gonna squish them together, so. Just hold it. It starts cooling down a little bit. You can use your fingers to uh, just make it blend a little better. But yeah, there you go. So that's why it's not a big deal if you accidentally not have enough. And you can see it's, I'm pulling a little bit, I'm pulling about like five pounds of pressure. You don't need to go too crazy because you're not going to be putting a lot of pressure on it anyways. So, all right. So now I'm going to Cobra Weave all the way to the other end. When I get to the other end, I will uh, start the video up again. All right. I forgot to mention that um, when I did the extensions, um, I added about five feet on each side. So that's how I finished off the end here. When I spliced that paracord to the other paracord, that was a five foot extension on both pieces. But now what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take um, 
How long is this? Get my tape measure out. This is about 30 inches. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to make our first loop here. What we're going to do, we're going to make it loop so that way you can do two calls on it. Or if you wanted to put, um, you know, wrap one, one call twice just in case. So if it came apart, but what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop here. You're going to find, get the ends of the wire or ends of the rope together. You're going to come under. This is right where I splice those two pieces together. I'm going to use that as my center on the bottom for my first um, call. You're going to make your loop. You're going to feed the two ends right through the loop. You're going to pull it tight. So it looks like that. That's what you want it to look like. Let's see both sides, both angles. Yeah, that's what you want it to look like. We're going to go right in the middle. Okay. All right. So what we're going to be, you're going gonna to cut a piece of paracord to about two feet, as you can see, two feet. Um, and all you're going to do is do, is all you're going to do is do the cobra weave again, right here. You're going to find the middle. And then, like I said before, you're going to tie that knot like you tie in your shoe. Bring it up tight. And then these knots I like to do a little bit tighter. So then what then what you do in your loop. But so you can go through the exact same thing. Do the cobra weave. And uh, whatever you end up on, I try to keep it the same for every single for every single um, drop. So whatever you whatever you decide that you want to do, I'm probably gonna do four. I think we'll see. Four or five. We'll see what looks best. We got one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's get the fourth. All right, so I'm gonna do four. So I got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So. Now all we're going to do is finish these finish these ends off, and then uh, we'll get to the next part. Alrighty, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to make this slip knot loop. So that way you can catch your uh, lanyards in it. So um, what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to make your loop like this. It's easy if you start off big. You can, you can always take out all the slack later. You're gonna go over the top of your thumb, underneath your thumb, and then bring the paracord right where your thumb is, right through that loop. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the slack now. All right, and if you did it right, the knot will slip. So it'll slide. Okay. Now we're just gonna finish off the end. And it's all done. I'm just gonna slack off here. I don't need that much. Okay. I'll show you guys the burning part. It's kind of mesmerizing. It's kind of fun to watch.
Could he could have cut a little more off, I guess. A little too long, but still gonna be fine. Make sure it's still inside. All right. There you go. Now you got your two little, your two loops now for your uh, calls. You need to put one on it or two. You can do, you know, you can do one whole call and put two lanyards on it, or you can do two separate calls. Now let's get to the next part. Alrighty, so we're under the next lanyard here, and uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to count up. I counted up four, so one, two, three, and, and the fourth one I went through it. And you're gonna go to the next one. You're gonna go through the fifth one. Okay, you're gonna have a little loop there. Let's see that? Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go underneath, through. And you're just gonna pull it tight, and then that's your knot you're gonna use for this. I can pull some slack. I don't need to waste it in there. Okay. All right, and pull it tight. Now we'll burn that end, and then uh, we'll get, get on to the next part. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I got this one all tied off. I'll show you guys this one this time, but you're going to go... Under, through, pull it through the loop, and uh, pull your slack out. All right, I'll uh, just show you how to do that loop again. So, so we're just gonna loop it around. So you can see that good. Around your thumb, under your thumb, around the rope, and then back through where your thumb hole is. And you're gonna pull the slack through. So it looks like that. Keep pulling the slack. Now I'm just gonna get a measurement quick to make sure it's the same as the other one. I don't want it to be uneven. So it's a little uneven. But that's a simple fix. All you gotta do is uh, just pull some slack out here. Pull it through. Pull it through your loop. Maybe do a little more, I don't think that was enough. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. That's about the same now. All right, so now it's the same. All you're going to do is uh, tighten this up, cut it, burn it. So let's get to the next part. All right, y'all. I uh, decided to paracord wrap um, these other ends too. And uh, I just wanted to make sure I told you guys that um, I did two feet. So 24 inches. And this is how much extra you have when you just um, do the cobra weave down to the end. Just so you have a little extra tail. Just it's basically just for aesthetics. Adds a little extra character to it, makes it look cool. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw it in there quick. And uh, now I'll pause the video again. I'm gonna cut these and burn them.
All right, so we're gonna add in another um, line. We're gonna add two more lines on actually, so there's gonna be five total. But um, a little tip that I was gonna tell you guys to help feed through on the paracord, if you just burn the end and then let it cool off for a couple seconds and just take your finger and then just smash it down. But uh, that gives it, it, it adds, it makes it a little easier for you to uh, feed it through the paracord. But uh, all right, so we're gonna count it up. So one, two, three, and then in the fourth, Lift it up a little bit, pull it through, lift up the fifth, pull it through. And then go under, through the loop, pull your slack. And then uh, I'll burn that end and then we'll start the video up again. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do next on the on the fourth and fifth uh, drop down, drop for a call drop call. Um, I'm gonna feed a thirty thirty little casing. This is a Winchester little thirty thirty casing that I uh, pulled the primer out and then I had to drill it out a little bit. But yeah, you just feed it right through. This is what it'll look like when it's all done. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna feed it through, get it up there, and then uh, we're just gonna do a little knot, basic, just basic knot you learn, great, you know, growing up. I don't know what it's called, but it's just a regular basic knot. There you go, so basic knot there. And then uh, show you guys that, show you how to loop, do that loop again. Pretty simple. I'm gonna try to gauge my distance here. The other one, all right. Okay, so you're gonna go around your thumb, go around your thumb, underneath your thumb, back through where your thumb is, and pull the slack out. a little bit to get to pull the slack through but there you go and when you're all done that's what it'll look like all right i'm gonna finish up burning these all up and then we'll end this video it's coming to an end we finished our lanyard here's the other one i made uh, a couple different designs you can do um so on this one on this one what i did here instead of uh instead of I put a I put a I put a three or three and a half inch shotgun shell in here and I just wrote on here take them I did tape it but I think um, what I'd do differently is I would take either a clear nail polish and go over the top so that way it doesn't rub off or um like Maj Podge I think it's called something that just go over the, over it so that way it doesn't rub off I did tape but I don't really like that design. Um, and then, so this is what I was talking about, where you have two drop downs, you can do two different calls, um, or you can just tie it together like I do my goose call, which on this one, um, so just like this, got the goose call wrapped up with two here. Um, but yeah, so this one, I did two different designs here. So I, I did five drop downs for both. Um, and then I did put some shotgun shells up here. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but you know, I, I had to try it out. Uh, every time I make these, I, I change them up a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is the design I have on this one. And then here's the one that we just finished up. And uh, I kind of like this design a little better. Uh, I like the way it turned out. Use the 30-30 shells, it'll give it a little extra character. But um, yeah, I got the goose call, the duck calls, and uh, yeah, if you uh, think I earned it, give me that thumbs up.
and then you know make sure you subscribe for more videos but uh there you go thanks for watching see ya